Hello, welcome to the server. You there? <laughs> there you are. Oh, wow. Oh, sorry. It's nothing like that. With the weird lighting in my office, it almost looked like your eyes were glowing. It threw me off guard. Uh, anyway, disregard. Welcome to our humble server. I'm Quest, the tired dad whose job it is to herd people to their appropriate channels. Of course, but, oh, hold on. This is awkward. I'm the one who asked you in here, but I just got more work in. Yeah, sorry, sorry. But I'm happy I got to see you at least. Oh, what? No, no, sorry. I didn't mean anything by it. Pfft, I can't believe I'm being trolled in real time. And on your first day. <laughs> yeah, you'll fit right in. Uh-huh. Good night either way. Have a good one. Hey there. So we meet again. <laughs> well, what happens if I'm a foe? <laughs> Is that really what you think our endgame is? You're going to have to at least get me to be your enemy first. <laughs> you can't even say it with a straight face. Either way, I think I'd rather go with friend. Well, how about you? How was your day? Oh, one of those days, huh? I understand. Sometimes I forget to take care of myself when I'm buried in work. Even if your day is bad, make sure you're staying healthy, okay? Good girl. Uh, uh, I meant to say, that's good. Uh, sorry. If you don't mind me asking, I've been curious. You said you were in finance, right? You don't sound too enthused about it. I didn't mean to pry. <laughs> we get such a weird group of people here. That anonymous invite. An ongoing mystery. I'm coming up empty, though. <laughs> ah, jeez. Well, it's late for one. And two, well, that's a secret. Oh, wait, I have an extremely important question to ask. Favorite character. No wrong answers, unless I don't like them. Well, that's unfair. I asked first. <laughs> okay, then I guess Xander. Though you would have been able to figure that out pretty easily. Ah, uh, but damn... Now I feel bad for joking that I judge you. Yeah, but... I don't like to judge people. I don't want you to think I'm like that, even as a joke. <laughs> okay, I walked into that one. What did you have in mind? Ah. Well, I have a million stories like that. You, you don't want one of those. I guess there was that one time when I was new to my job. I had forgotten my glasses at home, so I had been making a lot of mistakes that day. And I accidentally opened an obvious spam email. Uh, well, it directed me to a very inappropriate website as my boss walked by. With sound. Yes, so I had to explain to her what was happening and ask for her help while that was blasting on the speakers. <laughs> well, it's fine. 
I still can't look her in the eyes even now, though. I took up an offer to change desks just so I wouldn't have to pass hers every day. As much as it pains me to say this, you look really tired, and it's already very late. I'm worried if we keep talking that I won't want to stop, so we should break for the night. But thank you for hopping in. <laughs> well, that makes me very happy. Maybe I'll be more selfish in the future then. Hey. Um, thanks for meeting me here tonight. No, it's okay. You know I don't mind. That I, um, like to, I mean. So, did you want to talk about it? Yeah. Did he know you were a fan prior to this? <laughs> well, that's good to know. Although, is he known for stalking? Oh dear. Well, it's probably a coincidence since we don't really choose to come here. And as a mod, I have to remain impartial. But don't worry. If he crosses the line, I won't hesitate to ban him. I'm just doing my job. Although, just between us. Sometimes, I wish I didn't have to. I might break a small rule, if it's for you. You're really beautiful, so I understand him being obsessed with you. But it doesn't make his actions okay. What to do? Uh... Well... I mean, I have eyes. <laughs> Are you fishing for compliments now? What? You. <laughs> I see what's going on here. Well, I think you have the wrong idea about me. I'm not saying I'm some sort of playboy or anything, but don't be so careless with me either. Mm-hmm. Sure you are. <clears throat> Back on topic. Anything else I should know? I mean, as a mod? Uh, me? Well... Without going into specifics, I guess I understand stressing about rough relationships. I made some bad decisions when I was younger. Decisions that I pay for every day. You need to learn how to forgive yourself. How to move on. You didn't know what he was like when you first got together. And even if you did, you're a different person now than you were then, right? <laughs> I know it's not unique advice, but sometimes it helps to hear from someone who's been there. Just like it helps to hear your voice on nights like these. Hey, you look tired. Let's call it a night. <laughs> Don't tempt me. You've had a long day. Hey now, I just said don't tempt me. But, well, listen. Be good for me tonight. And if all goes well, we can try this again tomorrow. Deal? Sweet dreams. I hope tomorrow's a better day for you. Night. Hello? This thing on? Surely you can see my gorgeous face. Turn it off. 
So you can. Excellent. Ugh. Anyway. Hey, you here? Not the best time for a call, I know. But it's nice to see you, I guess. Well, there's no need to make this awkward. Impossible. You've gotten close to Quest lately, haven't you? Not to pry, but that was my question too. How are you feeling about him? I guess that makes sense. It's a lot to take in. And look, I'm not saying to just ignore it or anything, but... Quest is a good guy. And no offense, but your ex is shitty for what he did. Full offense for me. Mm. I think she deserves to know. Well... There's no point in hiding it now that she has some context. Quest was the only one to take the fall for the robbery. In other words, he was forced into it. And left alone at the scene. Abandoned. Obviously. Uh, I mean... Sorry. I didn't mean for it to come out like that. I'm just frustrated. We are not supposed to give too much personal information. We literally can't. There's even a sensor in voice calls. So he's always been vague with it. But now we all have the details. I guess even the sensor can't catch everything. Just this once, I wish it did. Hmm. What? Actually, my question is for her. Do you know how he got that information on Quest? Jeez. Are you saying he can come back then? That's a terrifying thought. Please don't. But anyway, um... Actually, I think I know how he did it. Ah! It's really stupid. Quest chats on his office Wi-Fi. I know this because one of the now banned links I posted like three months back was my site. It could log incoming IPs and I immediately knew his workplace. I even told him to stop. Wait, wait, I remember that. And his stupid manager still has a meet the team page. I'm sure society bozo just put two and two together. That blog he posted. Yeah, Quest must have clicked it. Damn. At least it means this is all over though, right? I suppose so. God, it's been a rough patch for the Blue Nini server. For Quest. You know, I think Quest would appreciate it if you two talked. He'll come back tomorrow, I'm sure of it. Aww. Yes, adorable. Just be nice, please. I thought Quest was the server dad, but you're acting really dad-like right now. He's gone through something traumatic. Aww. I'm logging into Final Fantasy. Isn't it late where you are? You're the literal last person I want to hear that from. Besides, it's never too late for Final Fantasy. In fact, anyone can start easily now that new players can play for free up to level 60 with full access to the critically acclaimed expansion. Good night. Night. Hey there. Just in case it isn't obvious, I missed you too. I like coming here with you. It's only been a couple days, and each one was literally worse than the last. Impressive. There it is. That laugh of yours. Um... I saw you had a call with Owl and Toaster yesterday. Did you guys talk about me? About that night? 
Yeah, I figured. I... I appreciate that. Man, can't remember the last time someone asked me that. <laughs> what Toaster and Owl told you is true, but it doesn't matter. It's an excuse. The truth is something like that was bound to happen. I was in a rough crowd back then. Incidents like that were inevitable. It was better to be involved than have nothing and no one. But I got out, and now I'm stronger for it in every way. Mentally, physically, I won't ever be in a situation like that again. W what? I'm not saying I would hurt anyone or anything like that. I just work out now so I can protect myself. I... Wait. Uh, you're teasing me. <laughs> I'm pouring my heart out here, and you're teasing me. Jeez. Ah, uh, but listen... I've said all of this, but what do you think about it? About me? You can be honest with me, you know. Not that I'm saying you aren't. Most people don't want to associate with me after finding out. Well, who am I to refute my good fortune? I'm really relieved, you know. If you hated me, I don't know what I'd do. But is there, uh, anything else you want to ask about? Oh, those. Uh, well, I can't say I had a good reason for getting them. Everyone in my group had similar ones, but I wanted something I liked. I guess even then, I was already starting to break away. On my arm is a snake that comes out of a red rose. To represent my belief in love, and its ability to transform and take different shapes. <laughs> Which sounds so cheesy out loud. And on my chest is a wilting rose with wings. That one is a bit more complicated. I was in a weird place. I wanted to be able to fly away, even if my love or life was falling apart. They're all connected, actually. <laughs> you would, huh? I'll keep that in mind. Yes? Is there something I left out? Thanks. Yeah? In what way? <laughs> hey, Angel, what are you doing to me here? Are you sure? You're not just messing with me, are you? <laughs> really? Is this really happening? Well, surely you can't be so irresponsible to start liking a guy you just met. I know, I know, but I'm prepared to face the consequences for my actions. What about you? Going to take responsibility for saying you like me? <laughs> you, you are just... Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna stop you right there, because I'm a gentleman. And I don't want to say something that'll get me kicked from the server. Stopping. Not that I want to. Oh, <laughs> you should see your face right now. Are you mad or flustered? Aw, I can see that. 
I'm sorry. Forgive me? <laughs> You're just so cute. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Listen. Thanks for tonight. I have a lot to think about. And maybe I'm being too optimistic saying this, but I think I may just have one more request to make of you. I'm saying that I'm going to go for what I want. So tell me, Angel. Are you available for a call tomorrow? <sighs> Good. Because there's a lot I want to talk about. I wish you a very lovely evening. Good night. Excuse me, miss? I'm a little lost. Mind giving me a map to your eyes? Hi there, Angel. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you just look so focused I couldn't help teasing you. <laughs> Unless you want me to strip right now, I'll show you later. But, wow. You're so gorgeous. I thought I'd be able to handle it, but I was wrong. No, no, hold on. I just wanted to say thank you for giving me a chance. I never thought I'd star in my own romance drama like this. And even if Blumick is ending, I met you. So I'm happy, no matter what happens. Good to know I'm not alone. It's taking everything in me to not try kissing you now. Maybe I should go for it. Can I? <laughs> now I feel bad. I didn't know you'd say yes, Angel. Well, come on then. Let's get out of here. I have something I need to tell you, remember? <laughs>